What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. We just arrived in Lake Navasha at... I need to read it because I can't pronounce this uh, properly. Anashipa. Anashipa. I think. Anashipa. Anyway, we just had a quick look at our, at our villa. And it's... You know, sometimes like I book places but I don't do a lot of research about it. It's a room. But there's like three rooms in the villa. Yeah. But like we, because we have the executive one up top, we have like a, a big lounge and everything. And so. we didn't realize that it was going to be like that because when you look at the site, the executive looks like the cheapest one. Yeah. It turns out the cheapest room was actually sold out. And yeah. We just so anyway, we, we booked the best room and we didn't know about it. No, that's the one villa from there. the outside looks super nice. We're yeah. going to go show you guys inside. But to arrive here, we actually need to like, we have to race behind this crazy guy on a golf cart. <laughs> Check it out. So we just arrived. And we're following a guy in the golf cart. And he's going fast! <laughs> to figure out, whoa, I'm really zoomed in. Oops. To uh, figure out where we're staying, I guess. Welcome to Mario Kart! Crazy, right? Anyway, the villas itself, like they're all pretty much, they really look similar. I think they're all the same. Yeah. But the, the, the building from the outside is very nice. Like even the shape of it, like I want my house to be like that. Yeah, 100%. They're almost like house type villas and like, I don't know. Yeah, have a look. Let's go in. So we're just gonna drop all our luggages and then we're gonna give you guys a proper tour. It's gonna be easier that way. Let's go. Come on in. It's room tour time. So as we were walking through here, we kind of came up the stairs and you saw a little bit downstairs, um, but there's rooms down there and I don't really want to be loud, so. We were walking through this area and we were told to go upstairs because that's where our room is and we're like, oh, so this must be a common area. And he's like, no, this is apparently part of our room. So welcome to the lounge living room. You have lots of space here, a TV and a full kitchen back there. I didn't know this, but apparently, so we did full board, but apparently you can bring your own food and make your own food here. Did not know that. <laughs> and then through here, Full-size fridge, oven, microwave, stove top. I mean, there's nothing you're missing here. So by the stairwell, you have like another lounger there. And you have a guest, I guess you call it like a guest bathroom over there, just a small bathroom. But what's cool to know is this here is actually locked. And then if you turn this way, we're gonna go up the stairs to our actual room, which is locked as well. So welcome to our room. The first thing I noticed when we came in is super high ceilings above our bed. But then let's come over to the bathroom. So we have a tub in here, which I didn't realize it had a tub. Again, we didn't really do much research on this one, I'll be honest. A very nice big shower. And you have your toilet, your sink. But come look here. What normal hotel room, besides like your camps and stuff, comes with an outdoor shower? That's amazing. I love it. So back over to our the main side of the room. We even have our own little lounge area here with a TV. Massive king size bed with a mosquito net because you never know. <laughs> Another little lounge area here. We have a mini fridge under there, which is great with your coffee and tea. But this, the size of this balcony is amazing. And it's very nice too. Would you say it's the perfect spot for a glass of wine at night? Because I would say that. I would say that too. <laughs> ask for anything but they came to bring us some fruits so that's pretty nice but now supper is in just under an hour mm -hmm. so we're gonna just go towards the maid lodge because it's it's quite far we haven't explored like but at all. yeah so we're gonna go explore for a little 45 minutes and then go for supper yeah 
let's go for a walk because it's quite a walk. <laughs> Something tells me at night you're not allowed to walk back and they bring you back in the golf cart. Hopefully. I, I just, I have I'll ask if I can drive. <laughs> okay, let's go. I can't get over like how nice this is. Like it looks like a, a little suburb neighborhood in California. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> how nice is that little centerpiece? It was in the, running when we came in. In the middle of the roundabout. Yeah, it's it's a fountain and I don't know, it's not working anymore, but it's oh, hard to picture. Whoa, oh, oh, don't get hit, David. Whew. It's hard to picture, but like this compound is like huge. It is huge. I'm wondering, like, I'm gonna ask, like, how many rooms do they have here? Like hundreds. Yeah, but then each villa only has just three. I know, but like there's so many villas. You only need 33 villas to have 99 rooms. Fair. Fair. We'll see. I'll let you know. I'm wondering if this is like a big nest for some sort of like dinosaur bird or something like that. We have no clue where we're going. We're just discovering. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> so this is actually the main reception and this is where, well, we checked in. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna have to go to the gift shop there because it looks big and I don't know if like it's Disney's fault, but every time I see the gift shop, I, I gotta go in. But we finally kind of found a sign with all the things that they have here and they have like a restaurant they have a bar they have a nightclub i'm not sure where the nightclub is but apparently they do like have a nightclub close because and i guess like we're on the lake right if you go that way i don't know if we are on should the lake, see it in the lake i don't know everything looks like far apart the bar looks beautiful and it's the very, smell like, classy. smells for supper it it's gonna great. be great yeah. we just found the pool and it's very nice and big too That's pretty impressive. Like upstairs they have like a full on gym that actually looks like a professional like commercial gym. Like, like they have a whole bunch of dumbbells. Yeah. They even have plates to go on the bars. Really doesn't look like a normal hotel gym at all. It's no. much better than that. And then they have like a game room with like, you can play Xbox. pool, ping pong, Xbox, PlayStation. Yeah. Those big lazy, uh, lazy chairs. Yeah, that's really cool. I like this place. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. So on my right is actually the restaurant and it smells amazing. It looks very nice inside too. We looked at the menu, looks pretty delicious. Mm -hmm. The staff are like all well dressed and everything. It's gonna be great. We arrived at like 4.45 so we were a little bit late, but this is the coffee lounge and this is where you have like tea and coffee between four and five. So we've been sitting at that table behind us and now it's dark. So that means it's time goes for supper Let's and I'm hungry. Supper. And they've got some good variety. So for the main, we have a bunch of good looking stuff, including chapatis, and any day with chapatis is a good thing. Let's see if we can uh, find our way back to our room. We can find it. It's our quite way. far. <laughs> yeah, it is a little far. We got this. <laughs> It's an adventure. <laughs> we just went through the main reception. We saw the golf cart, but they didn't pick us up. Are you no. sad? You wanted a, One of these times we will. a cart ride back? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> and just like that, we made it back. Now we have to go up like 17 floors or something. <sighs> Dinner. Dinner. Oh, that was very good. It was very good. And I was yeah. like surprised with uh, the variety. Yeah, so they have multiple like different salads. Lot. Make your own salad pretty much. Smoked two salmon. Soups. Yeah, two soups, bunch of dessert, but a lot of like, you know, chicken on the grill, that red chicken, like I'm not sure what it was, but it was delicious. Sorry with a T, it was yeah. like ta 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 yeah. ta Anyways. You let me know. But they had like chicken, because mine had curry chicken yeah. and a beef stew, and they had fish, fish. too and a bunch of different rice and like chapatis. Good. They have chapatis. Not, like literally nothing else matter. It was delicious. They had chapatis. They were good chapatis. No, I got really my good. chapati fix. Yeah. I'm good. Can't wait for tomorrow to eat some more. Hopefully they're gonna have some. Yeah. But for a buffet, like it was really good, especially for the price point. Like yeah. I, there's kind of like three types of buffets, like your super fancy ones. Yeah. And then I would say this is like a middle one. But it was very good. It was really good. Yeah. So now we're gonna go take a shower 
Yes, I need Outside? a shower. I don't know, it's kind of chilly. Maybe, I don't know. Then we're gonna wind down. Watch the new The new Disney video about, line. yeah. The Disney wish for any Disney fan, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Disney just released a new cruise ship. So we gotta, gotta check watch it out. that tonight. And then, yeah. Get some sleep. Get some sleep, because tomorrow, tomorrow morning, going on an adventure. <laughs> da, Late da, da, da. morning. Late, well, 10. Late morning. Yeah, okay, okay, shower now. Okay guys, who else agrees that like outside showers are just superior to normal shower? Let me know in the comments down below, because like, come on, this is so cool. This is actually the best outside shower, just for the simple fact, super good hot water, and you're kind of caged in. So you don't get that like cold feeling all over your body. Okay, move, it's my turn now. Share. That was the shower? That was a really good shower. I'd say it was very good. Yeah, after a car ride and needing to wash my hair. And Just freshen up. Feels good. Get ready for bed. Now we're gonna watch our video about the Disney wish. Yes. And we're gonna go to bed. Also Disneyland opened today. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah. It's April 30th. I'm not sure when you guys are seeing that, but for us, it's April, April 30th. 30th. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, citizens <laughs> of YouTube. So, we had a really good sleep. Oh my that goodness. Bed. It was amazing. And we, I just feel like we had a really good, relaxing night. Yeah. Like, we went back to the room, watched a couple of YouTube videos. About and Disney. Fell asleep. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Woke up, watched another few videos. Yeah. Got ready. Now is breakfast time. I'm starving. I am super hungry and I'm not normally hungry yeah. in the morning. Yeah, and we gotta fuel up for adventure. Yeah. Let's go. I love when we come to these places where they actually have some real Kenyan specific stuff. First of all, there's like chicken wings for breakfast. Nothing wrong with that. And what's that? Air root. Air root. Air root. Air root. Like not sure what it is. Like a sweet potato. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I was just waiting for omelets. Just finished breakfast. It was mm -hmm. pretty good. It was a good breakfast. No complaint there. No. When we left, a DJ was getting ready by the pool, so I'm not sure if they're doing a pool party or something today. I think but... there's a wedding here today too. Oh yeah, the, there's that too. Maybe yeah, we're so gonna maybe go guess. to a wedding, who knows? <laughs> so Tracy, do you remember how to swim? I do remember how to well, swim. Well, hopefully you won't need yeah, your swimming capability this morning. Most not, because I am fully drunk. <laughs> Let's do this. I didn't need my sweater. He just disappeared, but we just saw a hippo like literally like 70 meters from like where we left. Oh, okay, he just came back. Yeah. And he's gone again. Sorry. Well, we'll see other ones. actually Crescent Island and if you want to see what Crescent Island looks like well check out the link down below because we were there probably about a month two months ago maybe do you guys remember the witch house from the last video it's right there and still very very creepy time to try and feed the fishing eagles. Now we just gotta try to find one. Our driver just stopped with uh, to see some fishermen. Got a fish, a fresh one from them. So that fishing eagle is gonna be pretty lucky because that's the good stuff. We 
Phantom Eagle. Those two didn't want their tasty fish. So since it's dead, we were just able to like grab it back from the lake. And we're gonna find somebody else who's just more hungry, I guess. That white bird was seriously thinking about it, but it wasn't for him, it was for the fishing eagles. Just filming yeah. in case she falls. <laughs> this is a road to our villas, and the vegetation is so beautiful. And as you can see, we are back to our room after a little morning boat ride, which was pretty good. Yeah, it was good. And it was cool because it was a little bit different than the last one we did. Mm -hmm. um, because the camp, it's not even a camp, sorry. This place is more upwards, yeah. so up towards Crescent Island. So we actually just did like a tour around Crescent Island since we'd already been on there yeah. before. So we and, saw the animals from the boat. Yeah, and they were actually close enough. Like, and we saw yeah. like giraffes and water bucks and zebras, zebras wildebeest, a bunch of birds, yeah. antelopes, and come on, well, hippos. And yes, a bunch of hippos. And at we some saw point, them we were, we were pretty close. Yeah, at some point I was like, um, are we okay being this yeah. close? Yeah, knowing that they are the most dangerous animal in Africa. It was very close. Yeah. There was probably like <laughs> six or seven of them, like when they all popped up at one point. Yeah. But yeah. And after a while, we finally found, after actually three different attempts, we found one fishing eagle that, oh, that was hungry enough for a fish. But the funny part was, it wasn't even the one we saw. No. Was, this one just came out of like nowhere. Yeah, it was like, hey buddy, if you don't want that fish, yeah. I'll grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's and it's, that. It's probably because we went later. So we ended up going at 10. Yeah. Um, I think last time we left at like 7.38. No, mm -hmm. like 8.30 because of the yeah. rain. So, like he said, he's like, they probably had quite a bit of fish already because it's mm -hmm. kind of they feed what the they morning. do. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, it was a very nice boat ride. It was very comfy. Like, I like that yeah. little chair thing. You could rest your back and stuff. And that was not included with uh, with the no. villa. But it wasn't too expensive it's either. It was like 4,000 Canadian shillings uh, an hour. And we ended up... For the boat ride. Yeah. Not for a, each person. No, no, exactly. Was... Per boat. Yeah. And we ended up being there for about an hour and 15 minutes. So, ka <laughs> <laughs> no, it was very good. Yeah, so now we're gonna relax for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then go for lunch, which I'm always excited about because oh, yeah. yesterday was great, this morning was great, so lunch has to be great. Last night, Hopefully, they're gonna have really chapatis good. for lunch. Um, if they're not at lunch, they'll definitely be at supper time. Yeah, but I, I don't mind both, like lunch and supper. Anyway, <laughs> see you guys in a few <laughs> minutes ish. Hey, the fountain is working again. Nice. So we just sat for lunch. I have a very nice little uh, setup outside. They have a DJ playing right now too. And I saw that they're actually cooking outside today and they have a pasta bar. So I'm pretty excited about that. the most variety we've seen in forever like they literally have like all the you know Kenyan specialty but on top of that they have like a salad bar they have shawarma they make mini burgers they have a pasta station and still the omelet station is still open too they've got lots crazy yeah David decided to make friends for lunch I did not feed those cats Tracy decided to have dessert which is already done and I decided to have a second shawarma because you don't get that often. <laughs> I just convinced David to get dessert. He said he didn't want any, but the chocolate cake and the vanilla cake here, it's pretty good. <laughs> we'll see if Tracy's right. 
Okay, it's pretty good. <laughs> normally, like cakes here are like a little dry normally. Not here at this place, but just in Kenya in general, just a little dry, but not this one. How is it? It's not bad. Well, that was a damn good lunch, except we didn't get water. We asked two different people to get water and never came. So anyway, they said sorry. We have water in our room anyway. So now we're gonna go to our room to drink water because we're very thirsty. Tracy did a little uh, pool temperature check. She's saying that uh, it kind of passes the test. So we might go for a little swim. Are you changing or what? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Time to go to the pool because it's nice and warm outside and the pool looks actually nice. So it's time to switch to the GoPro, just in case, you know, it gets wet or something. The other <laughs> camera, not waterproof. Not worth it. Tracy's saying uh, that the pool is not that cold, so we'll see if she's lying. The DJ, it's a vibe here. It's really nice. I really like it. The pool is the perfect temperature we've had yet. As well. Yeah, that's true. But Tracy's hair are turning green, so it's time to go rinse and rinse the chlorine and yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do that because we don't want that to stay like that. So we just finished freshening up. Are your hair still green? A little bit? Slightly. Yeah. I'm hearing baking soda and Coca-Cola, so I'm gonna try that out tomorrow. Stay tuned on Instagram. <laughs> I guess so, but um, I have to say like I really love this outside shower like it's the best We yeah. should we should get one for our house. Honestly, like I'm not <laughs> joking. Like I yeah. love it now It's 15 to 7 and so time to go get some food. Yeah, and you guys don't know but today The lockdown actually got uh, lifted up and so we asked yesterday to have a glass of wine They, said they were like no, but now so I think we can because as soon as that uh, went through <laughs> everyone was like drinking beer. There everywhere. was drinks everywhere. Kenyans, <laughs> they know how to party <laughs> Let's go So tonight the buffet is outside just like lunchtime actually and there must be a huge variety because there's even more tables than there was at lunch I'm excited <laughs> To start some soup and salad and I'm telling you guys like that salad bar is like overwhelming there's like too many options guys I have to say this kachumbari is probably one of the best ones I've had so good we're pretty full but we never tried the pasta bar yet so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some mm. That's good pasta. Mm. So I didn't think it was possible, but tonight they had actually like more options than yesterday. Yeah. It's crazy. Like for every starch, they had like white rice, a spiced rice, um, ugali or chapati. Yeah. And then potatoes. Potatoes. And, yeah. And then they usually have like three different types of stew. Yeah. And then tonight, like the barbecue, oh, it man. was so, so good. Yeah, the beef on the barbecue, oh my goodness. That was amazing. Delicious. And then when you tried the pasta, I forgot yeah. the pasta, but that was actually uh, super A surprise good. as well, yeah. yeah. I'm glad we tried it, even though we're already kind of full. Yeah, and I passed up on dessert, so that says something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she skipped dessert. That never happens. We yeah. actually wanted to yeah, go have a why. glass of wine uh, at the bar, but now uh, even though the lockdown is lifted, the bars still have to close at seven, and, and it was like almost eight, so it, it was too late. But they yeah. do have a very good-looking bar, actually. So yeah. Sad we couldn't try it. Maybe next time. Couldn't try it out this time, but that's okay. Yeah. So now yeah. we're gonna wind down, go to bed, cause we had a big day under the yeah. sun all day almost both this morning I, know, I actually got, a little yeah, I got fried a little yeah um and yeah stay posted because tomorrow morning we're gonna give you the full review with the prices and yeah but but you probably know it's it's, it's pretty good we, we like it <laughs> i do really like see it. you guys in the morning good morning 
we just came back from another breakfast. We didn't film it too much because, like, you guys already saw breakfast. Same breakfast, yeah. It's repetitive at some point. But again, it was super good. A lot of variety, just like mm -hmm. every other meal. Like, the variety here is, like, just crazy. It's, like, 12 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. So here's kind of our selling points. <laughs> um, so we have stayed at, it was Sopa, right? Yeah, Sopa. So Sopa in Lake Nabasha. Um, I still think Sopa is good. Mm -hmm. This place is amazing. Yeah. Um, it is a little bit of a higher price point, but I would definitely recommend if you have a family. Yeah. Because there's so many activities for kids even. Like there's a playground, there's bikes you can run to, actually for everyone yeah. there's bikes. Yeah. There's a playroom with like Xbox and yeah. like ping pong, PlayStation, the everything. The pool is amazing. And we really enjoyed walking from our villas to like our meals and yes. stuff like that. Like yeah. we finally get a little bit more exercise and yeah. like because normally when we go like know. safaris or different hotels and everything, they literally like chauffeur you everywhere you want to go. And you yeah. just literally sit, eat, watch animal, eat, go to bed. Like it's... Yeah. Yeah. But like the fact that we were walking around the compound, like... And this compound, it's I mean, it's big. huge. Yeah. We got our 10,000 step every single day, which is yeah. very good. So I, I really like that aspect. And like once again, like... The, it's hard to explain how big this compound is. Yeah. Like, it's oh, huge. And if you don't want to walk, they do have a go-kart too, so don't be scared of that. Not a go-kart, but a golf cart. <laughs> Sorry, a golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, there is even a really nice looking spa. We didn't see it because it's more private and there was like a wedding party and it might be and closed. stuff. Uh, yeah, potentially. No, I don't think so, because there's a spa menu on the okay. table. Anyways. Um, but from what I see online, like it looks great, prices look good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Overall, like yeah. very good staff, very friendly and everything. We, you know, yeah. we had everything we needed. The room is really nice. And if you think this, oh, room, this room is nice, great. there's actually bigger ones. Yeah. So yeah, we had like, you know, the, the outside shower, big fan of that. Yeah. You know, nice little couch, very comfy bed. I mean, we didn't use downstairs, but downstairs was there. And if you don't mm -hmm. want to pay for, or full board and actually save a little bit of money go to the grocery store buy your food yeah. and you can literally cook it's everything full time <clears throat> full size fridge microwave oven yeah stoved up everything is there so yeah. you know um sorry i just remembered one point before we go on back to what i was saying about sopa so the two differences i really do prefer this however sopa your rooms are right on the lake mm -hmm. so you will see more animals if you like watching animals I'm yeah. so glad Sobo was our first time yeah. coming here because we, we, we were literally, able to see it. We literally had like zebras like walking around there. Yeah. Whereas here you're kind of back out so you don't get that aspect. But for us it was perfectly fine because we've already been to Lake Navasha before. Yeah. So now how much did we pay to come here for this huge room with all the meals included per couple, not per person, for both of us. It was yeah. 27,000 Kenyan shillings per night. and. Like I said in like a previous video, there's always a way to save a little bit of money. Most places, if you contact them directly yeah. and say, hey, like, do you have any discount or any, like, is this your best price or anything? Normally, nothing crazy, but they'll add 10% off. Yeah. Very often. Like it happened, like I would say like three times out of four, yeah. They give me 10% off. And sometimes this you place just have to be like a little bit persistent, not in a mean way or anything yeah. like that. But if you just ask, and they're like, no, I can't and be like, oh, okay. Just just be like, yeah. you're sure? And yeah. then they'll probably... Because, you know, like, on, on we stayed here for, for two nights. So on, like, 54,000 yeah. uh, Canadian shilling, it's 4, uh, 5,400 Canadian shillings yeah. off, which is, you know, money in your pocket. So always ask if they have a better deal. Yeah, overall, like... Definitely recommend this Especially place. for families. Yes. Especially for families. It just has that like resort feel that yeah. you can walk around freely yeah. and not have to worry about like night guards too because the lake's further down. Like, yeah. just very, very nice. <laughs> yeah. And it, as soon as I arrived, like, uh, and I said it from the start, like this makes me think of Leruat Lodge, but just up a notch. Yeah. Uh, you know, we really loved that place too. And it was really good for family with archery, mm -hmm. the big pool and everything, bikes, hiking. But this place is the same, just... Up a little bit. Up a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more, you know, the food is better, yeah. more choices, and it's just, ugh, just a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and then on the security aspect too, one thing I did notice, because there's a long road into reception, and then you kind of drive back out to come to the villas if you're staying in the villas. Um, but the villas themselves have their own security guard. Mm -hmm. as well like there's always and a they're everywhere there's down. a lot of security like, on compound i felt so, perfectly safe yeah. like there's literally three locks before showing up in their bedroom yeah one downstairs one in the lounge 
one to the room. Yeah. So, very yeah. safe. But yeah, overall, very good stay. No complaint, as I'm usual. I'm super happy. It sounds like we're always positive, but I swear, like, those guys are really nice. <laughs> like, you, like, we've put out a negative, a couple negatives oh, yeah, before. That you guys yeah, know that we're not going to... Anyway, no complaints here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys... In the next one. <laughs> a very nice big shower. Standard. But oh, toilet. What are you finding in the shower? I don't know, do something funny. I don't know. Do you something funny. I don't know what to do funny. Sing for the camera. <laughs> sing. Let's go monkey, sing. <laughs> I can't, I'm gonna put it on the spot. Like I physically can't. Just do it. I just, I can't. <laughs>